shirt sleeve to have <laughs> that just really fits me. Okay. start this for real now for real it's gonna be weird because like I see it here and this is the only place that I can see the chat but there's the camera <laughs> so I'll do my best hello hello okay how do I sound how does it seem how does it look all that fun stuff I took way too long to figure this all out <laughs> it took a, a long time okay am I soft let's see how about now let me know if that's any better I can do that. I'm gonna go a little bit higher than that. Let me know if that's okay or if that's too loud now. Also, thank you to Rafa Seal for being like, oh, this is what you need. I was like, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, music too, just like a smidge. Okay, how about that? Let me know, how's it sound? So I don't want it to be like too weird, but I want you to know like that it's there. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. And then a little bit more. <laughs> How's that sounded? Sounds good? Okay, okay. <sighs> I'm in debate about whether to keep these on, to be honest. Oh, hold on. I got, <laughs> I've got this like, hair clip that's keeping the hair out of my face but then it's also like in my way so what I'm gonna do so since I can't hear the music but anyway what I'm gonna just move this for a second I'm going to grab <laughs> my streaming scrunchie oh yeah oh you can't even like it won't focus on it but it's got all my game stuff on it <laughs> I love it okay let's just Let's just get this up and out of the way. It's a hundred and nasty degrees outside. And I had to help my poor friend <laughs> whose uh, battery died. So that was fun. And it was hot. But we did it. And I only had to call my husband like twice because this is a brand new car. So we had no idea what we were doing. Okay. But like, how cute is this clip? I love it. Anyway. Okay. Let's get to the whole point of this. This is also one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> it's from another bookish shop. But let's chat. Let's just talk about this. So the first one I'm going to do, because I just read it. My gosh, see, I'm looking here because that's where the chat is. But the camera's up there, so that's a little weird. Anyways, first one I'm going to talk about is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. There. I actually got this at Walmart. Um... It's actually a signed copy like just at my local Walmart by accident I ran into it it's like look at that <laughs> so this is really cute I'm gonna take one ear off the way I don't speak too loud <laughs> so this is like a super cute book it's a really quick read um, if you've read anything by her she did um, the Sun is now a star um, hi Charlene are you alive? Are you okay? Are you okay? Poor Ahsoka, Ahsoka Mocha is stuck in Portland during this heat wave. And it just like, it breaks my heart. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, so this book is really cute. If, uh, she So she wrote everything, everything. The sun is also a star. Um, her husband is David Yoon. Um, I haven't read any, none of his books, but I hear they're good. So, but this is... Um, this is X. Ooh, where is he? There we go. X. And I always forget her name. Evie. Oh my word. Evie. Evie. Um, she doesn't believe in love anymore because her parents are getting a divorce and it was really nasty. And she just happened to walk in on her dad cheating on her mom. Like, ee. so it starts kind of rocky, but she finds this book in one of those like free libraries for the neighborhood and it's called Instructions for Dancing and it leads her to this ballroom studio where she is uh, coerced 
into doing a ballroom dancing competition for amateurs and she's stuck with X who is the grandson of the couple that owns it. Oh, it's only 94. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, it is, let's see, it is 102 here. Like it's 102 here, but I have air conditioning, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so she gets the book, Instructions for Dancing. She gets in, uh, admitted into this dance competition. The other thing that also happens to her is when she sees a couple kiss, she can see their entire relationship from the beginning to the end. And it's like jarring for her. <laughs> so it is like, it's very interesting. It's very heartwarming and heartbreaking, but I really liked it. Like I really, really liked it. So that should be on your list if it's not already. I want to say it's like 15 bucks on Amazon or something crazy. I got it for 13 at Walmart. Also, when I do this again, I will have a background. <laughs> this is just like the test run to make sure that everything was working correctly because yeah, actually, I don't even know if I can do it. Let me see if I can turn it at all. Can you turn it at all? No, I can't turn it at all. It's like, you should just see this. This is an insane setup right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's super interesting. And she's like mad about it too because some of it she doesn't want to see, some of it she wants to see. Like it's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I loved that. Okay. <laughs> My girls were the ones that picked the books for me to talk about because I'm like, it's just a, it's just a test. And they're like, okay. So they just grabbed whatever they saw. <laughs> so we're going to talk about Just for Clicks, which is my friend Kara's first book that she wrote. I think she wrote this in like 2017. 2018 oh 2019 I'm totally wrong totally wrong but this is about twin girls twin sisters Claire and Poppy that uh their mom is a mommy blogger and she's been mommy blogging since they were babies and so they're just like constantly in the spotlight and I'm pretty sure it's Poppy no it's Claire sorry Claire is the one that hates it so it's it's an interesting story about boundaries and kids growing up in a social media age and like how much is too much and it's really good i really really enjoy this i love everything kara writes so this is a good one i know that's kind of like super quick on that but it's a cute little thing her other book is one way or another and that one's really fun it's uh Paige has to decide between spending a week in new york during christmas or spending the week with Fitz and his family up in their snow covered cabin and she's had a crush on him for like ever but they're best friends so she doesn't want to like mess with that Ooh, teenage angst but not in like a weird way like a good way oh, oh this one came today <laughs> so I haven't read it yet I haven't read it yet but this is the second book in the High Republic series for Star Wars this is the new like the new timeline that we're learning about the first one is called The Light of the Jedi, and then this is uh, Light of the Jedi? Sure. And then this is The Rising Storm. So this takes place immediately after the first one. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I'm excited. The, this um, Master Yoda makes one cameo in the first one. Like, one cameo. Because, you know, he's 900 years old when we meet him in the Skywalker saga. This is 400 years before that, so he's still like 500 years old. <laughs> Hold on, I think I need to move that chat box up a little bit. What do you guys think? I think we need to move it up a smidge because that just looks really weird. There we go, that should do, that'll do. See, I'm just gonna kind of like adjust. <gasps> yes, Joy Summer Love Playlist, ooh, yes. I love books, I love new books and I love books of people that people, that people know people, you know, <laughs> that you know the author. Yes, okay, so I was really, really hesitant with the High Republic stuff because I have Obviously, none of us have any idea what it is, but I really liked the first one. It was a little slow. Like, I'm not going to like because they have to set up a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm hoping this one's a little bit faster. Um, I still gave it like a four, though, because it's still Star Wars and it goes into um, like the different ways the different Jedi um, connect with the force and the Sith really aren't a thing. Like the bad guys are the, the Nihil n-i-h-i-l the heel the heel i don't know and but they're not force users so like what it's kind of crazy but i really like it um avar chris is 
like the main Jedi that you follow in Light of the Jedi. Um, and she's super cool. <laughs> she gives me a very um, like Qui Gon vibe. Like that's that's what I think of with her as I think of Qui Gon. Uh, okay, this other one came today and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> so bear with me. But like I said, my kids just grabbed whatever was around and looked cool. So this is Chain of Gold. Um, this is like the newest in the Cassandra Clare books. Not the new, I'm sorry, the newest series. The second one has already come out. It's Chain of Iron and that one's upstairs. I know I haven't read them. I'm working on it. <laughs> my TBR keeps growing and growing and growing. And for those that don't know, TBR means to be read. <laughs> I had to explain that to a couple people and have it explained to me because I'm not hip. So, but Chain of Gold. Um, this follows, I want to say, the kids of the people from the Infernal Devices. That's Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Princess, and Clockwork Prince. Um, like, they're all they're all back here. So I own all of these. Ooh, sorry. It's backwards for me to, like, move it the right way. So I like all of these. I like the Shadow Hunters. I think they're fun. I think it's... I read to escape. I don't read to, like think <laughs> you know some some books I do read to think today was not that day I also have my Kindle here oh, I can show you some of my orcs yes okay that just got me really excited <laughs> okay so I've already like raved about this on Instagram because it's ser I heard about this book in January and I immediately went and ordered it because Kara, who wrote Just for Clicks in one way or another, told me I needed to because she was like, you're going to love this book. And she was right. I absolutely loved it. The Nature of Witches. <sighs> it's so... F okay. So I grabbed my, like, fancy copy because I have two. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't normally get more than one copy of a book, but for this one I did. Like, look at this cover. Look at this. <sighs> and then I got... This is my... It's from a book box. So she painted the pages, this pearlescent purple that completely match the inside of the book. Uh, and I did not know this, but it was personalized for me. <laughs> so both of my copies are signed by the author and not just like, right? Okay. This cover is only happening with the first run of this book. And let me tell you, it's worth it. Like it's 15 bucks on Amazon right now. It's 15 bucks. And I am telling you, if you like anything that has to do with witches, and these are like good witches. Okay. There's no dark magic in this one. Um, this is about witches and uh, global warming and uh, all of their magic has to do with the seasons. Clara is an ever witch, which means that she can do magic in any season normally you can only do magic for the season that you are born in so spring summer autumn winter and like inside hold on let me find a page like it starts with summer and um most of the time clara changes with the seasons like during the summer she has these really deep uh, like l not love affairs but like just deep loves that she falls in love with everything by autumn she's kind of like changing things by winter she's very strong and very like mm. and then spring she's kind of flitty that's just like how her magic works but like oh this is good because it changes everything so I really liked it <laughs> a lot okay the last physical books that I have here oh my gosh is a trilogy that I discovered thanks to one of my friends on Instagram. It's the Fae Rising series. So we've got Blood and Honor, which is book number one. Chaos and Destiny, book number two. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> Fate and Flame, book number three. Now, all three of these are on Kindle Unlimited. So, like, if you have that, you can read these, no problem. I read them in two days. That's how seductive and how much I got sucked in. It's so good. I loved them so much. Hold on, sorry, I gotta do it this way because that's the way they go back in <laughs> the bookcase. Um, but I loved these. These are just like, they're so good. So good. Uh, they follow 
Ara, or Era, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, she lives in the Autumn Court, but, like, everything's kind of weird, and there's not a whole lot of answers of why things are happening the way they're happening, and there's a prince, and there's mates, and there's underwater stuff. Like, there's just, it's so much stuff, and it's awesome. And uh, she has a fourth book coming out in October called Tides and Ruin. And it's a companion. It's not a sequel. It's, a, it's like a companion story. So I'm really excited about that. I am currently in the middle of a few books. But this is one of them, What Lies Above by Caitlin Lambert. Um, she is an author that the girl that painted the Nature of Witches book for me, she said, hey, if you liked that book, you should try this book. So I went and found her, and then she sent me, like, she sent me one. How sweet is that? And she signed it and everything. And this is really interesting. It's uh, two different perspectives. It's uh, Evangeline, so probably Eva, 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 and Eli. And it goes, one of them is underground, one of them is on the surface, and I think their worlds are going to collide. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that their worlds are going to collide. And it'll be interesting to see and since i'm here and have my kindle <laughs> right here um which i mean i am an affiliate for amazon but like not like that means anything right so ton of books i'm also on netgalley which is where i get a lot of the arcs that i read um arcs are advanced reader copies because i didn't know what that meant <laughs> for the longest time but it's uh, advanced reader copies. And so I get a lot. I, not, I don't want to say like, I get so many because that's not what I mean. But I also have not learned my lesson yet. And I was like, well, I'm brand new. So they're probably not going to approve me for very many. So I just kept clicking. <laughs> and then I ended up getting a lot more <laughs> than I meant to get. But that's OK. That's all right. It's fine. Um, a couple of these I haven't finished yet, but I really liked nope stop give me the nope that's not what I said that is the thing is I'm still trying to figure out how this works I just want the cover thank you so all the blues come through oh sorry there we go all the blues come through I think this is coming out soon I can't remember when but this is like Greek gods meets apocalypse meets and I'm talking like an actual apocalypse not like apocalypse from DC because that's weird uh, there's a CO2, like, it's killing everybody. All babies are born with asthma because of how bad the air is. Ryan, the botanist, uh, develops a flower that no one else seems to be able to duplicate, but it takes the CO2 out of the air and makes it breathable for everybody. So she's trying really hard to get people to be able to make it. And for some reason, like, no one else can. And then she gets a postcard from these people on this island that they're able to make the flower. And so she goes to see, but there's, there's something it's kind of wonky about these people. Kind of wonky. So, but it, it was good. I liked it. I gave it a, I think I gave it a four. A five has to like change my life, which was like Addie LaRue, which I absolutely loved. I loved Addie LaRue so much. I loved Addie. Loved Addie never say never oh there we go this one just came out on the 15th of june this is a really cute fast read like so quick i read it in a day um venus or i guess aphrodite aphrodite has been exiled to earth again for messing up and she ends up in oh gosh what is her name why is my brain like so not Bryn. Bryn's life Bryn's life and Bryn does not believe in love because again, nasty divorce for her parents and just lots of lots of issues. Um, but it ended up being really cute. Like it was a cute little read. I really did enjoy it. Let's see, let's see. What else do I got here? Oh, ooh, wait, does this have a cover though? I'm not so sure it does. I don't know if I have a cover for it. Okay, I don't have a cover for this. Um I do have a picture of that. That should help. I'll, 
I'll have this all ready next time. <laughs> because I didn't even think about like some of the ones that I've already read. There it is. Okay. Big Boned. This one comes out in September. And I really, really liked it. Like it was, it was so, so good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Lori uh, is the main character of our story. And she is a plus size girl living in a not plus size world. Uh, again, another like really nasty divorce. And her brother has autism. And so they just moved from Johannesburg to Cape Town. So they moved really far away and away from all of her friends. And it's like her senior year of high school. <laughs> and they moved really far uh, for him to go to a special school. Anyway, and during that, she learns, um, she learns her own self-worth. And she learns how to um, kind of get over her insecurities like they're still there but she has an amazing therapist and like it's really cool it, it normalizes therapy and it also normalizes fat people and like it's just really really good I really enjoyed it a lot oh my gosh <laughs> oh oh wait wait there there's a picture oh no the unicorn did get cut off yep you're right I will fix that <laughs> the poor unicorn you're right I didn't even think about it Oh no! Oh dear. Okay, how can we? Well, I mean, for now, you know what? I should probably just take her off and put her somewhere else. I cut her off. Poor thing. Okay, well, I'll remember that next time. <laughs> See, cause she's she's super cute. So like, she's right there. But yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. You know what I might do is I might just save her and just like upload her separate on here, cause that'd be really cute. So that's probably what I'll do. Okay. Thank you, Raphael, for letting me know that that's there. And I will make that bigger. Yeah, I'll make that a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Lost in the Neverwoods. But I don't think I have a picture of that again. Because, oh, it's upstairs. I don't want to get it. That would require moving. And I don't want to do that. Okay. One more time. I should probably just keep this up, let's be honest. book I guess the other question I have is should I also go over books I did not like because <laughs> I have a couple of them I don't have a ton but I have a few that are like uh uh okay so Lost in the Neverwoods oh I'm trying to get it so it's not glary this is a Peter Pan retelling so good like it's so good if you guys follow me on Instagram I've already like talked about most of these books but I thought it would be good to have here also. But Lost in the Neverwoods is so good. We find Wendy on her 18th birthday. I just hit the camera. I'm so sorry. On her 18th birthday. And her brothers are still missing. They have no idea where they are. Uh, and Peter comes crashing back into her life. And she it has been five years since the events of Neverland. So she was finally coming to terms with some things and he crash lands right back there. And she's like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding. So it's really good. It's really heartbreaking. Um, but again, like beautifully heartbreaking. <laughs> Take that for what it is. But it, it made you feel something, you know, it makes you feel, feel good inside. But it also makes you feel like kind of sad. But it's really good. Okay, let's see from my library. What else do I got? What else do I got? I have books that I'm like are next on my list to do because I've been waiting to read them for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I loved this. Where there's a whisk. This comes out in October. I'm pretty sure. 90%. 90% sure it's October. Like October 5th or something. And it's... <laughs> Whoa! Lost things. There we go. It's chopped meats greatest bake uh like holiday baking meets great british bake-off like anyway it's all of these cooking competitions with teenagers and they have to if they win they get a culinary scholarship and it's just really fun like it was just a really cute fun little read i really enjoyed it i liked that one that was actually my first arc i ever read and it was really good i really liked it um i have been reading or i have been listening 
to a couple. Um, ooh. Uh, sorry. Okay. I've been listening to a couple audiobooks because the, uh, Matt Galley also does audiobooks for um, <laughs> reviews. Duh. Let me see if I can do that. play it because I don't want to play it. Pause because I don't want to play it. So this is TJ Young and the Orisha. Um, I'm not done with it yet, but I like it so far. So I've already given it my review because um, it like already came out. <laughs> so I already gave it its, its review. Um, it's like Percy Jackson, but Nigerian magic and mythology. And it is fascinating. Listen, the, um, who is the narrator? Actually, I don't think it tells me the narrator here. I don't remember her name, but she makes it so entertaining. It's it's been really cool because she like she says all the names right and she has the the accents down and anyway it's really cool. I've really enjoyed it so far. It took a while though. I mean I'm only like 27 percent in, maybe 35, and they're just now getting to the summer camp for him to learn about his powers and I'm just like we took this long to get there okay okay oh, okay so that is what I've done oh you know what let me do one book that I did not like for sure let me do one book that I might get in trouble for not liking but I did not like A Chorus Rises it is the sequel to A Song Below Water and I didn't like it I didn't like it at all. I loved A Song Below Water, so I was really excited. I was like, oh, this is going to be so good. Then I found out that it was from Naima's perspective, and I was like, well, that's going to be interesting. But maybe she'll have, like, a realization or come to terms with how horrible she was to Effie and Tavia. I'm not kidding when I say that about 75% of the book, she is still playing the victim. I mean, and I'm not saying that she wasn't a victim because she was, she did get stoned. Like she gets stoned. And when I say stoned, I admit turned to stone, turned into stone. So that's clear, turned into stone, but <laughs> she kind of deserved it a little bit. I mean, she was super rude. She was super mean. She was constantly just like messing with Tavia and Effie and trying to get them to mess up. And I don't, I still don't really know why. Like, I don't get it. She was just like that mean girl. And then she gets her own book and it takes her 75% of it to realize that maybe that wasn't, like maybe she kind of deserved it a little bit. I mean, sure, no one deserves to be like, abused or hurt or anything like that but to also like not even try to see that like you pushed them to that because none of the ooh, none of the events that happen at the end of a song below water would happen if naima had just left them alone that simple like it's that simple and i get annoyed that she is like what was me? Oh, I'm so sad. Like, please, girl, please, girl, please. It's like it ended fine, but it's one that I am not going to be buying because I didn't enjoy it at all. And I was actually listening to it while I was building my IKEA bookshelves upstairs for the library. Library. It's in the playroom. Like, it's a library. <laughs> but. You know, I, en I enjoyed listening to it while I was, like, doing stuff. But, I mean, no. Not really. So, anyway, thank you for coming to this super, super experimental stream. And now I know I need to move my poor unicorn because she's gotten, <laughs> she's gotten completely decapitated by the video. And I feel kind of bad now. Um, but thank you. I think everything is working really well. So I would really like to do this more often. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, cause I am going to export it to YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment for books. You think that I should read. I love fantasy. That's like my main one. Fantasy, historical fiction, classic lit, um, 
like a tiny bit of sci-fi. I'm not super into sci-fi. Um, I am definitely not into like war novels or nonfiction. Like it has to be fiction. I don't really like like real stories. I mean, I like real stories like from World War II. That's one of like a pet project that I have uh, been obsessed with since I was about eight years old. So like I love all of those kind of stories and I'm World War II, all of it, Holocaust, European theater, uh, Pacific theater, US, all of it. So like I like things like that not really into war stuff like I hate Tom Clancy it's just not my thing but my husband loves him so I let it be in my house <laughs> so anyway thank you again so much for being so patient and so wonderful and oh oh good girl I got so many fantasy options for you <laughs> don't you worry I will if you ever need recommendations uh, if you look at the bottom of the video right there <laughs> You'll find my Twitch, uh, not my Twitch, this is Twitch, my Twitter and uh, my Instagram. And I do a lot of this on Instagram. My Instagram handle is different than, any, than everything else because I had Instagram first. So, and that's tied to my blog, which is Our Happily Ever After blog. It's both my family, family blog, and I post a lot more things than just books. So, thank you for being here. I enjoy all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.